Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And this video, I've got three replays for you on the tier six tank destroyer tech tree, the SU-100. And this is gonna be the third mark of excellence uh, replays. So as you can see, so yeah, it's the, we've got three replays and just quickly, I'll just show you the equipment in the top right hand screen you can see there which are Cannonet, Rammer and Advanced Gun Lane Drive and our perks are Born Leader, Rapparito, Sixth Sense, st Snapshot, Steady Aim, Situation Awareness, Silent Driving, Camouflage Expertise and Muffled Shot. So predominantly a camouflage um, setup. However, I've just noticed there is a bit of an issue there. Take out the Snapshot and put in a camouflage it's uh, putting a, another camo perk that shouldn't be on there. Do not run snapshot on a turretless TD because it is pointless. Apologies, I've literally only just spotted that mistake. So, yeah, um, that's you know, even more impressive, I guess. Sort of free marking a tank when you're running a useless perk on it. Um, <laughs> again, I have no idea why that's on there. Um, but uh, yeah, so take out your snapshot and use something else. Anyway, let's get into the replay rather than discussing why I can't set up my tanks properly. Um, so the first replay, we are on Hidden Village. And we are potentially top tier. I don't actually know. I um, haven't seen the list yet. But um, we've already picked up one kill. We've got 140 damage, 536 now. And we, yeah, we're just gonna base. We're just getting shots on basically tanks that are crossing and what we can see. Um, Hidden village for me, yeah, it's hit and miss map for TDs. If I'm honest, I mean, you know, you can get a good start to the game when you can sort of see tanks. It really depends on your tanks going into the middle and lighting up the other side. Yeah, you, know, you can have good start in the game. Uh, I think with Hidden Village, it's all about the start and the end, really. Uh, middle of the game you may find yourself at a bit of a sort of a, a bit of a loose end trying to sort of find the damage um, you know you, you could play the top and you could sort of wait for sort of tanks to peak um, on those mid ridge and that's where the majority of the team is playing at the moment so uh, we've got to try and sort of push our way through and see if we can either catch out artillery because we know artillery is going to be sort of in the low ground at the back here um, or if there's anything else sitting at the back here you can see this heavy tank is, is sitting at the back I'm not really sure why that guy's there but you do get these sort of things you do get sort of campers sitting at the back um, so yeah we're gonna sort of we're trying to see if we can line up a shot but there's a rock in the way there's yeah um, and the damage seems to be in the way so um, gonna try and line up a shot and we do get a shot we get our second kill on the VK there which is quite nice now the SU 100 just briefly bef you know while we're sort of searching for, for damage to, to summarize this tank in a nutshell uh, is it's absolutely fantastic in my eyes it's such a nice tank um, it's it just it slaps top tier it really does slap and, and even sort of bottom tier you can really really put punish on on tier eights as well you know you sort of what uh, 350 average i think 350 average damage um if i remember rightly uh but you know either way you're you're putting you're really putting the hurt on i mean let's say bottom tier you feel like you're actually doing tier eight damage uh, and like I say, top tier, this thing can just you, know, you can rip tanks apart in two shots. So um, it's it's great top tier. But like I say, I, I think the thing I love about this, it feels quite. It just it has that nice balance when you are bottom tier. You if you can get in a position where you can use your camo to good effect, and you can really get that punishing on. Um, yeah, you can really get the punish in on, on those tier 8 tanks as well which is even better because you know sort of free marking this uh, when you do get those tier 8 games if you find yourself a sweet spot you can really really rack up the damage you know you can have some phenomenal games and they have and this and this this free mark grind has been 
probably one of my most favorite, probably the favorite I've, I've, I've done is it's, it's, been, it's been quite a breeze if I'm honest um, which is surprising because free marking is usually meant to be stressful uh, but this has actually been quite a breeze so I've, I've played this tank with confidence you know I'm not there's, there's not been many times where I've thought, oh god, how do I make this work? I mean, yeah, okay, the sick maps and stuff like that, but I don't know, it's just one of those tanks I've just got in and I've just felt like it works. I clicked with it and it's, and it's been great. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, this this game, uh, it, it, it was a half decent game. Um, we just got his KV1 left. You see, we just slapped for just over 400. I might even be wrong, it's this, I, I'm not honestly sure what the alpha is on this tank. I think it could even be 390, I'm not sure. But We uh, pick up the kill on that KV-1 there, and like I say, it was a quick, steady game, but just to sort of highlight how good this tank is. Uh, and we pick up six kills there, and we've got two point, just under 2.4k damage. Uh, I need a little bit of assistance. But yeah, we picked up the top gun there, uh, and we had, you know, fantastic start there picking up the first class and yeah just like i say overall nice decent game and that was top tier game by the way um so anyway we are on the second replay here where we are on westfield and we are again and this is a decent map for um you know, for the SU-100 we can get up into the middle there which is what we're going to do we're going to go to the middle uh, we're hoping that we're going to have a light tank come with us uh, so he can spot up uh, we're actually we're bottom tier but we're in a tier 7 lobby if that makes sense so it's just 7s and 6s so quite a nice balanced uh, matchmaking actually um, if I'm honest when sort of you know, free mark in sixes. Uh, I kind of prefer to be sort of mid tier rather than top tier because top tier, I find the games can just be so quick uh, that you don't actually get a chance sometimes to actually get the damage in. Also, you know, with tier sevens, are going to have more hit points, more hit points for you to farm equals, you know, more percentage towards your mark. So I do actually prefer uh, the, the, the balance, you know, sort of being mid tier. Uh, however, like I say with this tank, tier 8s wasn't an issue for me. I wouldn't actually quiver at the thought of tier 8s because it wasn't a problem. Um, so we get a nice shot into the uh, that panther that's crossed there. Uh, he has actually made his way over to the um, to the safe spot in K7, uh, which is a bit unfortunate, but uh, hopefully he'll get taken out. Now we see this FE3903, the Churchill Avery, and this is perfect. This is the kind of tank you want to see climbing the hill in Westfield because this is just free farm. This is just like, yeah, give me your damage, mate. That's fine. I'll take it. Yeah, contributing towards the free mark effort. I really appreciate it. So thank you, Mr. Churchill Avery, for your damage. I will take that nicely, and we get the kill shot in there, and we just farmed pretty much all that guy's health points. Um, and we're up to 1,700 damage already, uh, and they've only lost one tank, and then we see the Hellcat, and we just sort of snap a shot in there, um, which was quite nice. You know, the accuracy on this tank can be a little bit iffy, uh, it's derpy but to be expected because of the high alpha you get for a tier 6 you're going to get you know, the, the long aim time, the, 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 the slight troll accuracy, you have to expect it but overall if I'm honest it, it, some snapshots you can pull off and think wow that feels accurate, that feels actually feels more accurate than what it should be and it's kind of dirty. Um, Obviously, with the APCR shells, you get some fantastic shell velocity as well. So, uh, again, that's why I'm sort of running the, the full APCR as well because I'm, you know, I, I love good shell velocity naturally. I like my shells. To, I like the, the gun to feel like it is going to hit rather than derp. Um, we get a nice kill on the Hellcat there, and yeah, we're really sort of going quite aggressive here. Uh, when CSR that's running away, he's now one shot to us and we get the shot in there. See artillery here and we're just going to sort of line up the shot, just 
letting the gun aim in, but now he's moving. And I'm just like, oh, can I hit him? Gonna try and yeah, we bounce his gun mantlet because artillery. Um, so <laughs> bit frustrating now because I would have loved that one to sort of go in just mainly because you yeah, know it's artillery, but also you yeah, know I want to be sort of penning my shots where where I can. So. Uh, but that can't be helped, it's just an auto bounce off the gun mantler to be expected. Um, it just that 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 is what it is. Uh, being targeted by something, but I'm not entirely sure what. Now we can see this stern panzer down here, and I'm gonna be greedy. And I thought that stern panzer was potentially focused at something else. This is one of those moments where I'm like, oh crap, why did I bother coming here? What was I doing? What was I thinking? Uh, we rushed that shot when really we could have just aimed that in and, and yeah, but that was me just being greedy. Um, we do get the nice kill shot on the VK301D and there's only five tanks remaining now and I'm up to 3k damage and I'm on five kills so already a decent game. Um, I think at this point I might have been at 94% so I really was close and I was pushing, really pushing um, to try and, and, and get the third mark here but um, unfortunately our team are six tanks ahead so the chances of me getting any more damage or any more kills is looking a little bit on the slim side now i was trying to see if i could turn and get the shot on this r but he's backing up and we've got this t25 that's next to me that just kind of yeah just blocked my rear a little bit which is really annoying um but we know artillery is left in the game so we're gonna load the he unfortunately artillery has just been lit so uh, unfortunately we're not going to be able to sort of get this you know not going to be able to sneak up on him there's two other light tanks left they're up on the hill in c2 we're not going to get there in time so you know naturally uh, our, our objective had to be artillery but we do get the shot in we only we pick up the sixth kill but we only pick up 3k damage uh well we, we don't pick up no oh, we only pick up 3k damage. We have 3k damage. We didn't really pick up much damage on that artery because he was a one shot. Uh, he was only on like 61 hit points. So nothing really to sort of get us excited thinking that we got the third mark. Um, at this point, I wasn't really sure if it was going to be enough or not. I uh, kind of figured it, I don't know, it was sort of half and half. I kind of figured that it probably wouldn't be, but... Um, but I had a decent game, or, or you know, sort of. I had a really good game, nevertheless. Um, so I wasn't overly fussed. I was just thinking, well, it's been a decent game. It's going to sort of bump it up regardless. Uh, so I was sort of happy with that, I guess. But uh, yeah. But like I say, again, you see on open maps like Westfield how good the SU100 is. It's just, like I say, it's just. It's a really good tier 6 tank destroyer, if I'm honest. Um, I was really surprised. I'm actually grinding the Object 268 at the moment, so this tank will probably feature again more than likely when I do my Guide to Grind video on the Object 268. I haven't quite got the grind, you know, haven't quite got the grind done yet. Still on uh, your ISU 152, but you know, give it uh, give it a couple of months and, and that will sort of be out. So yeah, this, this tank will feature again. So we're trying to line up a shot on the AMXL. Unfortunately, we just dirt the shot, and yeah, the, the, the AMX gets away. It's kind of uh, hoping I could just sort of finish this guy off and put this game to bed, so that we can move on to uh, move on to the next replay. But uh, still chasing him, um, just trying to chase this guy down. Uh, very, very frustrating here. Uh, but uh, yeah. What we'll do is uh, we'll just keep sort of trying to chase him. I'm sure he's going to get finished off at some point here. Uh, let's hope so. And there we go. He does get taken out by our friendly M4A2. So we'll move on to the results screen now. And as you can see there, we come top of the board. We've got just over 3k damage. We're picking up six kills there, which is the top gun. Uh, only a tiny bit of assistance and if we see moving on to the results screen whenever it's going to do it 
and we pick up the first class there and just shy uh, of the third mark, 94.62%, uh, so we're close to it. So moving on to the third and final game now and this is where I get the free mark and you can see here we are bottom tier matchmaking and I will this will be a perfect example of what I've been talking about in terms of not having that fear when you are bottom tier when you're faced up with tier 8 tanks because you just know uh, like I say there's more advantage in our favour because there's more hit points to, to, to harvest there so um, I was perfectly fine with that um, Corellia not a bad map either like I say there's there's again a bit like Hidden Village you can you can have a very good start and a very good end uh, in the middle you might be a little bit loose end but like I say the starting point here we're going to come to the usual tank destroyer spot and we're going to park up here just going to knock these trees over to give us some extra concealment gonna back up here to get behind the trees so it work you know so basically camo works to our full effect and then we go get the first shot into that tiger 2 there we damaged his engine uh we're gonna try and see if we can potentially sneak another shot in unfortunately we don't uh, but it was worth firing that shot blind now you can see i'm backing up away now reason being is because if you've got some enemy tds sitting the other side they're going to be looking for traitors so um there you know they'll, they'll be looking to see or get shots into me blind uh so that's why i sort of moved back there get another shot into the tiger 2 uh, was that oh no it's a vk sorry the vk we got a shot into we're putting him onto a one shot we can see some traces from the back there so we need to be careful uh we know there's going to be some tank destroyers in the back there and you see there's a lot of tank destroyers in this game um scores are quite close uh, it's 14-13 at the moment in our favour. Uh, we're going to see if we can line a shot on the Capola there. And we do get this shot on the Capola and the Tiger 2. Again, I feel like even though this is derpy when you're fully aimed in, it does seem to hit. It it, it does feel accurate. That's the thing. It's, it's very bizarre, the SU-100. Uh, particularly a Russian tank to feel quite accurate. Usually they are just derpy as hell. Uh, it can be very hit and miss. Some days fine other days just complete hellish nightmare um so yeah we, we we've not had a bad start to this game we're at 1500 damage already and there's still 12 tanks left in the game now this bulk horror is deciding to make a push and um, now this is going to be a bit tricky here because uh, i'm trying to sort of aim at the weak spots you know turret sheets of the bulk horror lower plate but yeah, I'm not having much success here. Uh, Bulk horror can be a bit troll at the best of times. Trying to sneak a shot into Capola that Tiger 2 there, but unfortunately he bounces. The Bulk horror turned his turret, and that was a chance I could have got a shot in. If I hadn't taken a shot at that Tiger 2, I could have got it. We do sneak a shot into the Capola that Tiger 2, finishing him off for our first kill of the game. And we're up to 1700 damage here. Now this bulk horror is being a bit of a pain in the backside. He's in a position where he's just stalling the the attack here. And this prize of K is trying to take care of him, but can't seem to do it. I was gonna try and sneak around here, but unfortunately the bulk horror has lit me up. Now at this point I've decided, you know what, I am gonna take this risk. The bulk horror is just fired, so I'm gonna come around and gonna try and line up the shot unfortunately tried snapping the shot there and yeah it didn't pay off it completely went skew with which is to be expected but the bulk horror fired and we lined up the shot and we got the shot through the upper plate that was going to penetrate because the bulk horror was sort of up on an angle his, his upper plate was essentially flat to us so it negated his armor meaning that we could penetrate it but you know he has put us on half health which is yeah not not a great but I wanted to take that shot, well, I, I didn't need to potentially if I just sort of let the gun aim in a little bit longer. I don't know, I may still have taken the hit, but I was willing to take the hit, I was willing to take the hit to get rid of the bulk horror so that we could push on because I knew there was going to be some more tanks at the back here, like this bomb bar. But, you know, artillery just gets a nice lucky blind fire onto us, which is great. Puts us onto 166 hit points. We love to see it. It's exactly what you want when you're uh, on your final. 
when you're trying to uh, get your third mark, but uh, it's what it is, I guess. Uh, fair play to Artillery for taking the blind fire. Panzer Jaeger gets lit up here, and we get a shot, and we put him up to 2.9. Well, we're up to 2.9k damage here. Gonna try and see if we can get a shot as he departs, but unfortunately, he gets out just in time. Now, I'm gonna push up here. Artillery does get taken out uh, by our friendly IS-3, and there's only four tank destroyers left in the game. Um, we are three tanks ahead. Uh, so at this point, I'm kind of thinking, oh, Christ, uh, you know, damage is going to get away from us. Uh, we, you know, I feel like uh, I feel like the the you know we're going to get sucker punched here with the amount of damage that we got, and just I didn't feel like it was quite enough. Uh, and I wanted to get a bit more out of this game, but only you know three tank destroyers are left in the game. I kind of knew uh, one or two of them I think was up in A1 um, Panzer Jaeger has sort of done a runner somewhere they've got a G saw so a G saw and a Panzer Jaeger to contend with which these tanks are going to outspot me uh, uh, yeah and I'm a one shot for both so however where I am I've sort of thought Joe you know what no risk no reward I didn't want to sit in camp I kind of wanted to go and try and see if I could at least light some of these tanks up so artillery could hit them. Um, I, at this point, I kind of I'm just gambling here, and I kind of sort of given the notion that I wasn't really going to win this game, and that's probably a defeatist attitude. But I get like that sometimes, and I just can't sort of think, well, fuck it, go for it, sort of thing. Um, <laughs> part of my French there, but yeah, that's the, men the mentality. Uh, Stern Panzer gets a shot on the Hummel there, and uh, unfortunately, it takes him out. Um, now we're going to sort of sit and wait. Uh, I was, and I think I was going to back off here at this point and potentially sort of go around. Uh, the Stern Panzer's made a move, and it kind of made a bit of a mess of that. I probably should have uh, just sat and waited for him to expose himself i could have got a side shot in we did track him in place uh, and artillery does get a shot into him um he is 388 hit points now so technically i think he could be a one shot for us artillery has just hit him again so he's definitely now a one shot for us so we're going to poke up we're going to try and sneak the shot in and we do we get very lucky there because he is in front of us he could have snapped it and potentially could have took us out there but we get the shot first and we end up getting the kill um still uh, so there's two tank destroyers left we've got our heavy tanks cap in again at this point i'm like oh christ you know it, there's more damage to be had here and you know it's, it's very frustrating when tanks are capping but i get it and it's a team game and you know they're capping to try and secure the victory that's fair enough um but when you're sort of trying to free mark yeah, the, the damage is what you want. You know, when wins and caps aren't gonna get you the the, the third mark. Uh, and yeah, no, it's, I know free marking is a bit of a divisive subject amongst the uh, wargaming community, but it's something I quite enjoy. I think it's a challenge, uh, and I'm gonna continue doing it. But um, but anyway, we we're down to a brom bar now, and miraculously the Brombar has full health which is brilliant news for us uh, and that means more damage can be had uh, I'm looking at the Hellfire Light Tank who is a sliver of health so he's not going to want to risk it, uh, not against the Brombar, we've got artillery in the game so it's 3v1 here um, now I'm going to I'm I'm kind of asking the Amex to just at least poke to, to try and get me uh, yeah, just try and get me the target the Brombar gets spotted, I'm too busy trying to get myself safe, but I've not noticed that the light tank has actually lit him up. We slap a shot in there, putting our damage up to 300 and uh, 3,500 damage. Can we get the kill shot for the fifth kill? We can. We pick up the fifth kill there, uh, and we bring an end to the video. So there we go. We picked up the victory and we've got 3.6k damage, we've got 5 kills, and I was like, is it, is it enough? Is it enough? 
It is, and we've got the ace tanker to boot as well, so yeah, that's a real nice bonus to get an ace tanker replay, uh, as well as a third mark all in one video, so yeah, really pleased with that. So anyway guys, that is it for the video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if you want as well, it always does help, uh, you know, help the channel out, so... As always guys, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.